Hello world! Welcome to part 3 of my Quant Connect playlist. Uh, in part 1 we set up our account and we made one trade. Uh, we did one SPY trade and held on to it for a set start date and end date. And then in part 2 we set up a universe which is how, um, how Quant Connect delivers stock data information for you. So um, we selected a universe and we found some uh, stocks under a dollar and uh, we were going to trade off of those but we're going to pivot in this video. Uh, so in this video specifically we're going to set up uh, two specific strategies and do some real trade, not real trading, but do some backtest trading with them and see uh, if they're profitable or not. And then from there, we'll start working with some algorithms and some execution models um, in, in future videos. But first, let's check out the uh, two strategies that I'm using in this video. And before we do that, welcome to the 144th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So now let's go through the code and some of the changes. Uh, make sure you watched my uh, last two video so you can kind of catch up but if not that's fine this video uh, I'll explain most of it so uh, you have to start off with the class uh, I call this first project uh, then you're gonna pass it the quant connect algorithm and so uh, then you're gonna set up your initialization and this is all following the quant connect documentation um, so in the first video we set a start date uh, cash levels and an end date so we're going to change these and do uh, one year using the strategies. So uh, 2020, June 1st, uh, we're going to start off with $100,000. Um, then we're going to go to 2021, June 1st, which is this year. Uh, skip this. This is what we did in the first video. And uh, so in our universe settings, you can set a resolution to daily, which is what we're going to do, or hourly, or by the minute, but we just want to do the daily for these strategies. So self.universe settings dot resolution, resolution equals dot daily. And which universe are we going to use? So in the previous video, we added a uh, find course selection function. So that allows you to look at all the course data which is where Quant Connect stores like 8,000 stock symbols. And then you can further define that in the find. We're going to skip that for this. And so we're going to do self.addUniverse and then self.course selection function. And what it's going to do is it's going to find a function called course selection function, which is down here. And we'll get to that for a second. Then we're going to do the number of symbols. So we're just going to trade the top three symbols um, sorted by volume, which I'll show in a second. And then we're going to set the default setting to changes equals none. So these underscores, uh, this is just a naming convention. I can delete those if I wanted to, um, which we will in the future. And so what we're going to do is two strategies. Um, we're going to call it, uh, so first you, you're in the function, right? We're still in this class. Course selection function, which is what we defined up here. And uh, we're going to pass it this course. And this course variable, you notice how it's not uh, defined anywhere because this is Quant Connect's documentation for passing course data, which is 8,000 something stock symbols that it tracks uh, for you. Uh, then we're going to take the top daily dollar volume, which means uh, this should be volume. And then we're going to trade them. So how you do that is we're going to do a variable called sorted by dollar volume. Then we're going to say equals sorted, right? And so this is, I'm not going to go through this, all of this. Just know that this is how Quant Connect's documentation is. We're going to pass it this course, which we uh, took in. You're going to set up a, can, a lambda function, which is this right here, which is x dot volume, dollar volume, and then reverse equals true. Right, and then we're going to return, so return x dot symbol. So what it's doing is right here we said x is, so for all the symbols, <coughs> we're going to sort x by dollar volume, and how many from zero 
to these number of symbols, which is three. So what it's going to do is it's going to pass the symbols every day sorted by dollar volume, right? Because we set our resolution to daily to this on data, right? So let's skip to that. And so on data, so what it's going to do is take the data that's in the Quant Connect database. And then we're going to kind of compare it to this uh, course function that we just did. So that's a lot. Uh, so if self changes equals none, then return nothing. So self changes, the default is none. But um, for the security and self changes dot remove securities. So what this is going to do is first is going to check if any uh, securities have been removed from our uh, sorted by dollar volume. If so, then if security dot invested, we're going to liquidate right which means sell it so if it's been removed if it's no longer the top dollar volume for that day it's going to remove it and it's going to liquidate it so it's going to sell it and we're going to see that when we back test it and then what is it going to liquidate this security so for every security here uh this symbol and it's going to collect it from this and then if we have added securities um, so it's going to set a list, let's say 50 of them, and then it's going to set holdings, which is how it invests. That's how it knows to buy set holdings security dot symbol, which is what we passed here. Um, one divided by the self number of volume symbols, and we defined it that as three. So what it's going to do, if there has been changes to our course data, it's going to invest in those. Um, and then we're going to set the changes to none. So it's going to keep doing that daily. Um, and then this checks the universe. So on securities changed, it's going to find changes. And then it's going to set the self dot changes to changes. So if this is none, it's going to do nothing. It's going to skip all, it's going to liquidate any changes. And then it's going to go back to none. But if there are changes, it's going to come up here. So kind of wonky if you're a new investor, but um, this is just how the data works. So basically, the bottom line is every day we're going to look for the three stocks that have the most dollar daily volume, and we're going to trade them. So we're going to press back test or build if you want. Uh, this kind of builds, auto saves if you will. Uh, no errors. So let's back test this. And look at this, it goes straight to requesting back testing because the nice people at Quant Connect gave me um, some credit, which uh, I can use towards the tier, the very first tier. So this is not sponsored by Quant Connect, but thank you very much. Uh, so here is our strategy right here, our one year strategy. We made a 7.55% return which is not great if you compare it to the S&P 500's return. Um, don't know why this is cutting it off, but we made uh, $11,000 in profit minus these fees and these unrealized losses. Uh, we made about uh, $7,000. So our ending equity is $107,000 because um, we started with $100,000. And so... Uh, if you go down here, there's a bunch of information, and we'll go over that later. This is some uh, kind of some geek speak. And here are the statistics per month. But uh, let's go to this chart. Uh, as you can see, this is February 8, 2021. So uh, it dropped significantly. Um, and now we're up to about $107,000. So um, $7,000 of profit in one year so let's go to these orders and here we go so starting in 2026 every day it's looking for changes in trading off there right 20 pages of this trading right here uh, all the way until we get to uh, June of 2021 so this should be no surprise if you're uh, if you know the stock market so Amazon Tesla um, Bank of America QQQ, which is an ETF. These are all Apple, 
Tesla again, Tesla probably every day. Um, these are all stocks that have the biggest daily dollar volume. So what that means is it takes the volume for that day and times it by the price of the stock. And so you could have a billion shares for these penny stocks or a billion volume for these penny stocks and still not make this. So this is a, a combination of the largest valued stocks traded the most. All right, so that's one strategy. Um, we're going to go deep dive into this. Um, I'm learning with you. That's why there's kind of a delay in these videos. So let's cross that out. And so now we have these other, this other strategy. So what we're going to do is we're going to comment all this out by pressing control backslash, just like you would in any other IDE. And now it's yelling at me because there's no return statement. And then we're going to uncomment this right here okay um, so what it's doing now is it's sorting and then first it's going to look for multiple things in this course data and first it's going to say does it have fundamental data then we're going to find stocks that only have a price uh, less than ten dollars but greater than five dollars and then with a little volume and the reason why we were doing this is because we were exploring like a penny stock strategy um, now this isn't penny stocks, but uh, so let's build this. So the return statement is the same. So for X dot symbol, um, we're going to sort it by dollar volume. And then we're going to take the top three that fit these things. So we check our console. Um, there's a build error. That's while I was indenting it. So it compiled fine. So let's press back test. Uh, we don't have to wait the 20 seconds again. I love it. So it's going to analyze this strategy and then it's going to tell us that uh, we lost 40% uh, of our dollars. So uh, let's. All right. So it ended up at about 42% uh, loss. Um, this, however, did better in January. For, nope, still lost in February. So we lost about 43% of our money so we ended with uh, fifty seven thousand dollars um, starting with a hundred thousand so this is not a good strategy uh, let's look at these orders um, so this has a hundred and nine pages of orders so uh, we definitely won't be using this um, strategy but you can see uh, much different symbols so this is a $5 stock, $8 stock. Um, yeah. So this is not a winning strategy, but these are stocks in between $5 and $10. So the next step is either refine this one since it was winning or refine this one until you get a better average. And so what we haven't done is set up a real algorithm, right? a mathematical equation that does that. All we did was a filter you can do on any website. This isn't algorithmic trading yet. We also haven't set up a execution model or a risk factor where you can say, hey, don't, don't do that. Don't lose 43%. So you can say, hey, um, I only want 20% of my portfolio to be invested during this time. So all things we'll cover in future videos. So I hope you like this series. Please like this video if this is helping you and you're following along. Uh, leave a comment if you're a Quant Connect expert and you have a winning strategy that you want to share with all of us that we can make a lot of money. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, especially if you want to see me build my own digital assistant named Shane. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.